there is someone that might be able to help you out here shortly. Mm-hmm. Fernando Tatis Jr. Did you see the uh, Twitter rumor floating around? And then what Preller said yesterday about Fernando Tatis Jr. Tell me. There is a rumor on Twitter, just a rumor. I'm not saying it's true. It's probably not. Rumor it's, has it. This, this, you know, this is how rumors get started. Um, 12 years, $400 million for Fernando Tatis Jr. is the offer extended to him. Can you say those numbers again? 12 years, $400 million. Okay. Can we do the math on that real quick? We're talking about $35 million a year. I mean, I'm just that's just a quick guess. Quick guess, $35 million a year. I'm very bad at math. So 12 years, $400 million. So 10 years into $400 million. 33.3. Okay. So, okay. This is really interesting. If, if this rumor is to come true, 12 years, $400 million, that is the smartest investment <laughs> the Padres could make right now ever because no, seriously. Cause if, if let's just say they wanted to do this kind of deal, let's say they wanted to do a five year, $150 million deal. Also okay? great. No, it'd be great, but it would be kind of market value. And then in five years from now, you'd be looking at another five year deal. Only mm-hmm. this time you'd be looking at 300 million. I'm just making up numbers here. Right. So if you could lock Fernando Tatis right now, for his career, 12 years. Now, he's 21 years old. He'd be 33 by the time this contract would end. If you could lock Fernando Tatis right now, Jr., at 12 years, $400 million, $33 million a year, he becomes the highest paid player on the Padres, which he deserves to be. You've got him locked up through what you would probably consider the prime of his career, 21, 22 to 32-ish, 33-ish, 34-ish. And you've done it at under market value going forward. It, it's a it's an amazing contract for the kid because it gets him lifetime money and it guarantees him that he's going to have this monster payday. And he's probably at 33, 34 in the Albert Pujols kind of world. He could probably score one more contract because 33 through 40, 33 through 38 is not unthinkable 12 years mm-hmm. from now. Hardly. At that point, he'll be playing third base. He'll be still making plays. He'll be still hitting home runs. I I think at that at that amount, that's a steal. I wouldn't that's be surprised so crazy, if he though. turned that down. That's just so crazy to even bring this a four hundred million dollar contract for a kid that hasn't even played one hundred and sixty two games yet, and we're all saying deal. That but is a would, deal. That is a steal. Actually, that's how I, good this kid has been in this dude. He hasn't played a full season yet. And we're Which, over here talking about 12 years, $400 million when Mike Trout, who is by far the best player in baseball for the last five, six years, just got for what, 425, something like that. And now we're just going to hand to teeth 400 million and we're all okay with it. That's yeah. how good he's been. Yeah. You you can give him this money because he's going to make that back for you in theory. threefold. And in theory, you give him that 400 million, he'll make you a billion in the time that you've given him 400 million dollars wow. because of the impact, the financial impact of having him on that roster could mean for your franchise. Well, think about this generation of Padre fans that just were right. created, you know. The one thing they want is they want their they want the future. They think the future is bright. If you've got Manny Machado locked up for another 8 years and I know there's some way in there that he might get out of it halfway through, but still you, you've yeah, got you've got a, a generation of Padre fans who came to life this year. They could have been like my son at 20 years old who's been waiting his whole life for this. Could have been like my three daughters who couldn't wait to watch the Padres game every single night. They haven't cared about baseball in years unless they were going to the game. The bottom line is, is that if you can get Tatis now, if you can get him locked up, and if you can do it under market value, and you can do it long term, that is the smartest business move the Padres could make. Not Listen to what I'm saying. Not the smartest baseball move they can make. That's regardless. The smartest business move mm-hmm. they can make is signing Tatis. And, and Alex, so, to your point, yes, it would be nice if Tatis would say, wait a second, you're 50 years old, Kaplan. You're out of shape mm-hmm. unless you subscribe to Heath Bell's circle is a shape. Round is a shape. That's a fact. You're 50. You're out of shape. You haven't trained. And you're going to go do a one-mile swim in the ocean a 133-mile bike ride, and a six-mile run, walk, crawl. You're going to suffer all day for the Challenge Athletes Foundation to raise money. I'm going to say, yes, Fernando Tatis Jr., that's what I'm doing. 
And would you donate? Because I'm trying to raise three thousand dollars, and you're probably carrying that in your pocket. Can I'll I have just that? Hand it to you. In half. Yeah. Can I? We have know it? Manny does. Well, here's the thing, though, to 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 finish this this rumor up, which it really is just a rumor. Um, Fernando Tatis' mother has chimed in on Instagram, said it's false. So here is the original tweet. Mi fuente en ESPN acaba de decir que San Diego le ofreció uh, 400 millones de dólares por 12 años a Fernando Tatis Jr., which mm -hmm. means my sources at ESPN tell me that they've offered Tatis $400 million for 12 years. And his mother, as you can see, wrote falso, which as you can imagine means false. Correct. Oh. <laughs> falso. falso. Hey, and uh, then Preller, though, Preller continued the rumors because yesterday he said that both sides are interested in a long-term extension already. Good. So who, who you gonna believe, Prella or Tatis's mama? She ain't in no contract negotiations. <laughs> uh, Tatis is twenty years old, man. I'm pretty sure he still talks to him about his mom about everything. This is daddy doing the daddy taking care of this. Daddy mm -hmm. makes sure they gonna get that money.